up, guys? Uh, a golden snitch and Rogue a Rogue Roger here. Uh, ACG, Hurry, Ash County Gaming go. YouTube go. channel. I'm um, bringing you guys some Search and Destroy gameplay go. on bootleg. Bootleg, yeah, ball bootleg. I ended up yeah. going uh, 20 and 3 uh, on this Not game, bad. so I uh, figured I would share it with you guys and for my first, you know, commentary video. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and you know talk about oh look at this look at this I'm basically we're just basically gonna sit here and talk about upcoming video games and again yeah and uh, we've done this three times now hopefully we're gonna get this, this one to work this time but we're gonna talk about upcoming video games and what we think you know about gaming in general like the casual gamer versus the competitive gamer standpoint so uh, we're gonna start talking about Black Ops 2 here um, Basically, uh, you know, the new game Black Ops 2 is coming out November 13th of this year. Um, it's coming out a week after Halo 4, which really risky on uh, Activision. Oh. Part. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> he was head and I still got him. But uh, really risky on Activision's part for them to come out, you know, right after Halo 4. But um, I think it's going to beat out Halo 4 in sales. Just because uh, the way Halo 4 is looking, it just I, I really don't think they're going to do it good. You know, Bungie switched over, and now it's just 343 is making it. I just, I don't know. I really don't think it looks that good. But um, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 was, was an amazing game. Don't, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I mean, it, it was a good game. It was, it was very competitive. My second favorite COD probably next to, you know, COD 4 the best. Yeah, definitely COD 4 is the best. But um, Black Ops, you know, it had a had potential to be a great game. It started out a little rough, but you know, Treyarch, Activision, they're really good at, you know, fixing things fast. And they listen they to the feedback. Yeah, they, they do listen. They listen to their, you know, their players, and, uh, you know, they they do what, what the players want, and I really like that. Here, you know, when it comes to Infinity War, they basically do what they want. They do what they think's best, which and, is usually not. Yeah, which is usually not best. And uh, you know, if it doesn't turn out good, you know, oh well. But um, I didn't know there was tools in the top left of that. You gotta use the DCs, <laughs> didn't you <know> that? <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Black Ops One was really good. They they came out with a bunch of patches for it and made it made it really good. Uh, they came out with a competition playlist once uh, Black Ops got on the MLG Pro circuit for the 2000. 11 season. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it, it did pretty good. Uh, I actually went to MLG Raleigh and competed in Black Ops. Uh, ended up placing 37th, which, you know, I, I was pretty proud of. There was around 70, 80 teams, and I placed in the top half, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Uh, I might go compete again this year if they end up picking up something. If not, wait, wait for Black Ops 2. We <laughs> yeah, always go spectate. Get free we'll t-shirts anyway, and you guys can look sign stuff. <laughs> Have our own little table for yeah. Ash County Gaming. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, Black Ops 2 looks like it's going to be a really good game. Uh, I'm really excited to see how it turns out. They haven't released any... Uh, multiplayer footage yet they've only released campaign and campaign you know everybody was always complains it looks too futuristic why is well, there horses I mean, <laughs> I mean it, it, it is it is weird I admit I don't, but, I don't think it's gonna be like Halo Alien no Halo I don't either I mean Black Ops 1 was weird it was talking yeah. about numbers and Mason and stuff but you know the campaign turned out to be really yeah, interesting there have been zombies that's not weird enough I don't know what yeah I mean zombies on that game apparently there's this Zombie mode on Black Ops. Yeah, they're gonna be really, really good. I don't so, really like it's, it's fun for casual. This this, this shotgun guy right here. I don't know how he gets me through this thing. It makes me so mad. Gosh, but yeah, That's the power of the fast. It is, man. but um, not as bad as it was on MW2. That, no. <laughs> that was good on MW2. But um, they're coming out with a new playlist uh in about two weeks for this game Heck for yeah. MW3, and it's a uh playlist that they're coming out with called Face Off. They're giving us in DLC collection two, giving us six maps, giving us two for free on the fifteenth uh, of this month, and uh, which is May, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, but yeah, they're in DLC collection two for MW3. They come out with Face Off mode. It's gonna have one v one and two v two playlist. Should be cool. Which should be very cool. They've never done it before. Um, what do you think about this new well, playlist? I like it a lot because I mean we've always before if we want to have two v two. We always go play game and, and game battles is, is terrible. Yeah, it, it, it's better now, but yeah. Well, I mean, you have to now. You have a cap. Card, Ooh, so, look at that! Got a four piece. Ended up getting a fifth kill here, getting a five piece. This, this was that, was that was a nice round right there. That, that kind of 
I put the fire underneath me and <laughs> made me want to do better. But, but yeah, I like that we can just go into a, you know, it's almost like the same thing. If you want to play competitive in Black Ops, you go to the competitive play level. If you want to do it 2v2, you just go play 2v2. Right. And it's going to be interesting, you know, you know I have you for a partner. I know how you play. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, how you pick your partner. You, you need to pick them to where um, their play style, really yeah, right. Someone, someone you can get along with and their play style agrees with yours and you guys can, you know, you both want to camp, fine, make a grab on kids. <laughs> but um, I'm really interested to do it. 1v1, I think that'll be good too, you I know. Think it was <clears> better than cage match. Right, it was, in COD 4 cage match, it was, it was kind of campy. Um, it, it was alright sometimes, but I think 1v1 in this is really going to help people brush up on their 1v1 gun skill, like in one in one-on-one -on -one yeah. battles. Uh, I think that'll help. Plus, it'll give people chances to try out new guns, because, you know, if they try to go in Team Deathmatch and try out new guns here, they usually get two or three kills with it, and then, you know, I would... They get blindsided by something and can't really try it out for yeah. long with 1v1. I wish they'd have just like one one playlist, I don't care what kind of game type, where you can, it doesn't count towards anything, it doesn't know your deaths or kills, anything registered, you can just go try crap out and it doesn't matter right. how many times you I mean, die. see, that's, that's why I like, you know, with Black Ops they had the, uh, the bot mode. Yeah, uh, you can just go try it. Yeah, they had... I mean, you could try out different guns and stuff. I mean, you had to unlock them, which is kind of crappy. But, you know, I think they should really incorporate that in the games with Halo and this. Yeah. They should put bots in that, that uh, you know, match the skill level of players online or better than players online, whatever you want to put it as, to where you can practice on your free time. And, you know, I mean, for those that don't have Xbox Live 2, they can... They can play too. I mean, and yeah. be playing just like they're playing online and still have a good experience. Just saying, you, know, you put the bot on veteran, you're gonna have a bad time. Right, <laughs> Black Ops bot veteran, they you turn on a dime. And talk about it's those? ridiculous. Oh yeah, uh, I was gonna talk here. Um, I, if you guys were watching, um, I ended up getting these two guys right here, but I waited too long to rush into the bomb. Um, I was the last guy left, and uh, they had they had planted, and I had a chance to rush the fuse, but I didn't do it because I figured that they would be waiting outside the bomb, and uh, they would jingle it, or I would jingle it, and you know they would just rush in and kill me. So I was gonna try to kill both of them and then go for the fuse, but I waited a little bit too long. I waited till about eight seconds to go in, and that put me a little bit too far behind. Maybe if there was only one of them. Right? Yeah, if there was one of them, I would have got the bomb, but you know. Um, I ended up getting a Predator missile out of it, which uh, helped out this round. It took one of their players down, which helped us win this round and come back. Uh, just just want to put in the comment that we do lose this game, 4-3. Um, I didn't really want to put a losing game for my first commentary game, but I went. I got 20 kills and 3 deaths. I mean, <clears throat> that's, that's a little bit of something to brag about, especially for this game, but um, yeah, uh, like I said, I, I should have just went in earlier this round. Um, I'm the one that ends up choking here at the end, actually. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when we get up to it. But um, do you have anything you want to say about anything in general life? Life, <laughs> whatever. Life's good. Just got out of college yesterday. Yeah, we're, 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 we're both college kids. Um, we go to different schools. So I don't right. know what we're going to do after the summer as far as these videos go. Right. Um, we're, we're just going to try to upload a bunch this summer to give you guys something to watch. And please. I mean, try to get share. the word out there, share videos with your friends. Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, bash you guys about it, but we really do want to, you know, get out there and get known. And, we're, we're, I mean, we're going to appeal to competitive players and, you know, casual players. We're going to give you guys tips and, you know, talk to you, hopefully. If good tips and talk to you guys. I mean, we've been playing Call of Duty for at, at least four years if you count online since, like, COD right, 4. Yeah. So, I mean... Some of the stuff we say makes some sense. Yeah, I mean, I've had Xbox since, you know, O2, Xbox One, you know, Halo 2, you know, as best game. But, um, here, uh, I get this guy, uh, I end up getting an attack helicopter. There's two left. Um, <coughs> uh, I called in the attack helicopter, and I should have just waited out and waited for them to plant. But instead, I look right here where the attack helicopter is shooting. I see that it's shooting towards that building, and I go try to get him. And of course he would be, you know, sitting right here at the staircase. But, you know, I guess it was just my fault for over pursuing that and not waiting. But, you know, he just he just had a good spot on me and he he, he yeah. got me. He he was waiting for the attack helicopter to go away. Um, the bomb was right there. Should have should have looked for the bomb too. But, you know, that was just my fault. 
But I just figured I'd upload this, give you guys some good 20 and 3 on, gameplay. Time. But uh, I'll show you the score here at the end. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Favorite, love. But thank you guys.